Hey there Lickin' Riffers and welcome back to another awesome special video here on Lickin' Riff in which we're going to compare and explore the differences in sound and musical possibilities between the ukulele or ukulele and the banjo lele. Even though they both have lele in the name, they're completely different instruments. They're even tuned differently. Okay, so we're gonna explore um, the possibilities that these two magnificent instruments enable us. And um, before we do, I'd like to thank Donner Instruments for donating these terrific ukulele and banjo lele to the channel in order for me to make this comparison lesson and yep if the name sounds familiar it's the same Donner Instruments company that made the awesome bass and electric guitar I showed you last month so if you're interested in any of these instruments the links are in the description so thank you Donner Instruments and you'll also get a bag of goodies containing extra strings containing picks containing a tuner and a strap. And that's on top of the quality carry bag that these babies come in. All right, ukulele versus banjo lele. Okay, first of all, they're tuned differently. They're tuned differently because you're getting different results, different musical expressions from them. Okay, so the ukulele, in case you don't know, is tuned um, G, C, E, and A. A, G, C, E, and A. Okay, so listen to... Okay. I bet you know you... Okay, you know what? Uh, ukulele sounds like but in case you've never heard a banjo lele before you might be surprised because it sounds like a banjo okay so immediately if you go to the higher notes okay this is not what you're supposed to do with this instrument even though you can Okay, you can do this, but it's a lot better if you just stay here and... Now, the banjo lele is tuned differently. It's tuned A, D, F sharp, and B. Because this brings out the... By the way, this is a Remo head, okay? a banjo drum head. Okay? This is a quality head. I, th I believe that this uh, Remo skin, drum skin, actually costs more than this banjo lele. Even though it's such a sturdy instrument, it's also pretty heavy. Okay? This is light. You can hold it with your little finger. Uh, I'm not gonna, but <laughs> you can. But the banjolele weighs. Now. Okay, so. You see, it's not. It's not designed, okay, the, the drum head is so tight that it's not designed to vibrate higher notes, it's designed to vibrate this pitch, okay, this pitch, you're not supposed to go lower or higher than this, okay, even though you can, if you want, you can, okay, you can do this, but this is pretty much the highest you can go, the fifth fret. So 
okay, while when you play the ukulele. You can go high. Okay. And you can also experiment with um, alternate tunings. Okay, you can tune the ukulele pretty much however you want. If you've watched my ukulele experiment videos, uh, I've made a couple of ukulele experiment videos uh, about three years ago, I think. Yeah, it's about three years ago. Uh, I borrowed a friend's ukulele and I just started retuning it and experimenting. It was the first time I ever touched the ukulele. And I made that video to show you how easy it is to learn this instrument. So, as you can see, these are two completely different instruments. See, they uh, produce a completely different sound. And I don't have to introduce the ukulele to you, but this may be the first time you hear about a banjo lele. And this instrument is so fantastic. Because it's a banjo, it's a banjo, but it's a banjo the size of a ukulele. It's uh, it's more a banjo than a ukulele, and it's pretty disorienting the first time you play it, but you get used to it really, really quickly, and it's a lot of fun. You can just sit around all day and go. When you play a D chord, you have okay, the same note twice, so that's a banjo for you. Okay, and when you do the same thing with a uh, ukulele, okay, so you have, okay, you have the same note. Okay. You get a ukulele sound, you don't get a banjo sound. Okay, you get what, you, what I call um, country ukulele. Okay, you don't get a banjo sound because it doesn't sound like a banjo. It sounds like a ukulele. But I like to play I like to play um, very soft and calm finger style when I play ukulele. partial to uh, major 7 chords and minor add 9 chords on the ukulele, I don't know why, but... I think it's a little bit out of tune, but yeah, that's, not, that's not the point here. The point here is... It's really easy 
to to find fantastic sounds on this instrument. Um, so thank you, Donner Instruments. Thank you so much for donating these awesome quality yet affordable instruments to this channel. Uh, Donner Instruments, in case you don't know or don't remember, um, they make super quality instruments that are uncannily affordable. Yeah, I have no idea how they do it because I've searched for flaws in, this, in these uh, spectacular instruments, but the craftsmanship, the paint job, the, the fret leveling, the setup of the bass and the, and the electric guitar, and it's just in perfect condition. These are quality instruments, okay? They don't feel, they don't play, they don't sound like affordable instruments, but they are, that's what they are. And I have no idea how Donner Instruments can sell them for so cheap, but um, they do. And it's your benefit. So the links are in the description in case you want to get one of these. And uh, I highly recommend it. Okay? I'm enjoying these instruments. And if you want me to make some ukulele, banjolele lessons, I'm more than willing to do so. So leave me a comment okay? and ask for it. And uh, I'll start practicing so I can teach you how to play it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Have fun and I will see you in the next lesson.